so I would invite someone to come to Nutcracker in the Castle at the Pain because it truly is the magic of the holiday season. You're going to come in here and if you're familiar with the Nutcracker fairy tale, it's like walking into the fairy tale. It's really, really like a fantasy land and it's super fun. It's really cool to see those scenes kind of come to life and depending on the kind of tour that you're going to get to go on, um, it might actually come to life with actors and dancers. So um, it's a really special experience and we find a lot of people come to make a family tradition out of it. So it's just a great way to come spread some holiday joy. There are three different ways to experience Nutcracker in the Castle. One is a self-guided tour, which is just your basic walking through on your own, wander through. You'll get to read the story from huge storybooks that are in each room, but it's really journeying on your own at your own pace, um, and it's a lot of fun. Those are offered during the weekdays and 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday, um, and those are really fun. If you want to take it a step up, then you would do maybe a candlelight tour, which is a self-guided tour, but it's in the evening time. Those are on Friday evenings from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m., and when you go on a candlelight tour, it's kind of fun because you get a little electric candle that you get to carry as you wander through. Um, so it just adds a little magical element, um, a little more than what you get in the daytime because there's the nighttime hours and the, there's something really special about the Christmas trees and how they twinkle with that with that uh, backdrop of nighttime versus daytime. So they're really kind of the same thing. There's just a little something more magical about the candlelight. And to be honest, that's actually my favorite kind of tour is the candlelight. And then the third kind of tour is a guided tour. And that's where we have, um, it's kind of like a play in motion. So we have live actors that will bring you through the scenes of the story and then you actually end in this room in, in the Great Hall or as it's called during Nutcracker, Lands of Afar. And in here is where you have live dancers from Valley Academy for the Arts. And I should also mention that in the beginning of your guided tour you'll also get to listen to music by Fox Valley Strings. So it's really cool you have those live performance elements that really bring that story to life and um, those are offered on the weekends. We do actually require reservations for guided tours and those sell out really, really fast. So you can make them online. It's easier to make them online because then you can see all the different tours that have might have filled up or where there's room for however many people on each tour. Or if you'd prefer to make it over the phone, you can also give us a call and we can, um, we can do it over the phone for you as well. But those do require reservations. Unfortunately, you can't um, walk in because we keep them to a certain number because then that, that's how we figure it out. It makes it really special and you're going to have a magical experience that way. The cost for self-guided tours is $14 for adults, $10 for youth, and that's for ages 5 to 17. Members are free and children under 4 and under are free as well. Um, candlelight tours is the same charge. And then guided tours are $27 for an adult and $21 if you're a paying member and you're an adult. And then $22 for youth, and that's actually for ages 2 to 17 there and then $17 if you're a paying member for a youth price. And then children under 2 are free. So you can top off any tour of Nutcracker in the Castle with a sweet treat in the Sugar Plum Fairies Cupcake Cafe. They're humongous, humongous cupcakes by Tamara's the Cake Guru, and they're delicious. They're Nutcracker themed. You can get a Clara cupcake. You can get a Nutcracker cupcake, all sorts of different themes. They're really fun, and you can also get endless pour of hot cocoa. That's in our conservatory, which is located in the back of the property, and that's open before or after tours. It has some special hours, so I usually recommend people go to the website and check out those hours and coordinate your tour so you can either start your tour there or end your tour there. But it's a lot of fun. The Sugar Plum Fairy herself is the hostess and we see a lot of little children that go and dance with her or she'll just interact with the people who are there and it's a lot of fun. The Sugar Plum Fairy's Cupcake Cafe is open Fridays 5 to 7.30 p.m., Saturdays 12 to 7.30 p.m., and then Sundays 12 to 3.30 p.m. And I should mention even though on Sundays we're, we usually do guided tours, but if you wanted to just come to the Cupcake Cafe and not do a tour, you could come to that as well. Um, so those are the hours of that. We do have some special hours for the holidays as well that will have some extended hours, and I won't get too much into those, but um, check the website if you want to come around the holidays, and, and we'll, we'll be open. The family workshops are offered every Saturday in the studio, which is located on the lower level of the mansion. They're free with your admission. If you're a paying member, then they're, they're free as well. Um, they don't require any reservation. They're kind of a drop-in, come in as you, as you like and, and do a craft, and then, and then move on and, and finish your tour if you like, or if you want to go on a tour and then end your, end your tour down there and make a craft, that's fine too. There's lots of different crafts. Um, there's masks that you can make. There's um, these cute little felt mice that you can make with a, a candy cane. Um, there's ornaments that you can make yourself. And dazzle them with all the glitter and, and sparkles and fun stuff so lots of fun things to do down there and we find that people of all ages love them they're designed for kids but adults can do them too if you're if you're feeling creative
So we have a number of authentic German nutcrackers on view from the frame workshop and another local collector. Those are in our Gothic gallery and they're really, really cool. They're authentic, they're original, they're really, really old. Um, they're really, really neat. Lots of different kinds of nutcrackers that you can see. And um, those are upstairs in the Gothic gallery, as I mentioned, along with some other really cool folk art types of things. So if you're into history, you can get some of that as well. So we hope everyone has time to come down to Nutcracker in the castle this year at the Payne. We hope that you can come and get some holiday joy, have this magical experience. You can find all the information at www.thepain.org or you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at the Payne Arts Center and Gardens. And we just hope everyone can come and enjoy the holidays here at the Payne. Oshkosh Today was supported in part by the Friends of OCM. Aurora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive and House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard.